Then you want to load back. Load your save again. And you should be back here. Now what you want to do from here, punch backwards, grab that scout fly, um, kind of line yourself up um, to roll that way. So you want to roll that way. You want to fast swim because the lurker shark is coming to get you. <laughs> See, uh, he just kind of left right there. Um, from here, you want to roll towards here, uppercut here. Make sure you don't touch the water during the sequence. Uh, if you do, the lurker shark is kind of he's on your tail a little bit. Um, if he if you do touch the water, you mess up and touch the water. Uh, immediately go to these boards and just uh, double jump on the boards or uppercut on the, on the boards and just play it safe because you don't want the lurker shark to eat you. Uh, loses a lot more time. So from here you want to stand in the back right of this platform and you want to roll towards uh, the scout fly there. So fast swim, get, that, um, get the scout fly, you don't need the cell, uh, you'll be fine there. And this is just exact movement that I do. Um, you don't need any of these orbs here unless you're very under orbed. Uh, if you're under like two, if you're like two ten, two fifteen orbs getting here, then you're gonna need to get these orbs uh, just by grabbing this level Rico and shooting the boxes. But I don't need any. So um, when you get up here, you just want to double jump, ground pound here. Kind of take a step back a little bit so you can roll. Um, and this is kind of a tricky roll. Uh, even I don't I don't get it. Like I get it probably half the time. Um, it's not a cool roll, man. <laughs> so that's like it's very tight. You know that roll. So what I recommend is just uppercut, uppercut, and then roll. Um, that's simpler. To get the blue eco. Now there's thing there's a thing called the low jump um, on this pad. So normally you just like press X on the pad and you will jump. Um, but if you kind of stand outside of the um, the pad and you spin, spin and then jump, you might get a low jump. Uh, that was not a low jump. Um, then I'll show you. Hopefully I can get it a few times. So if you stand way outside, you're not going to get anything. So that's a little jump. It's like two or three seconds faster. Um, yeah. So you walk up, grab that scout fly, come back, and proceed on your merry way. So you can punch through that, and roll, chain your punches and rolls. Uh, roll on here. You just want to jump on just that. Punch roll, punch roll. Uh, there you go. Um, from here, you want to grab the eco, punch through it, roll, and you want to shoot that. Um, I forgot what you call it. <laughs> but you kind of want to shoot it while you're over the platform so you don't fall during the cutscene and you don't want to hit the, the ground right here or the. the what do you call it? The goo, I guess. So you want to make sure you shoot this, uh, what do you call these? Oh, these are Zeppelins as well. Oh, the tethers. <laughs> okay, um, so you want to break the tether, uh, while you're over the platform to avoid damage. So when you get the cell, you kind of want to take a step back and roll on top for these orbs. Um, punch off. Chain your punches and rolls again. Boggy cycles for the pikes are kind of interesting. Um, they're harder to figure out, but the more you do boggy, you'll just figure it out. Um, or you can kind of watch it if you want. Uh, try, to, try to figure it out. But uh, better to just do runs. <laughs> yeah, the rock. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay, so from here, uh, you want to shoot down um, the, the spawner here, I guess, um, with the yellow ego that you got from over there, and it should reveal some blue ego. 
and you want to roll towards your pad and jump. Um, punch towards the scout fly, punch back, get on the pad again. All you need is the scout fly there. From here, punch, get on here, from here, punch, roll onto this, and you, know, you don't want to stay there too long. You can skip that right there. Um, this is kind of tricky right here. Um, you want to stand off to the left a little bit and roll here. If not, that's fine. You can just punch right through it. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's not that much slower. But uh, if you really want to get ballsy, you can kind of stand over here and roll over here. Um, it's a little bit faster. From here, you can just grab these orbs if you want. Uh, that has health in it, so if you're low, uh, you can grab that. Um, instead of uh, getting on this uh, right here, you can just uh, roll through it. If you if you roll close enough. Okay. So if you if you roll close enough uh, to the edge here, like this, you can just um, roll, roll right past it. Um, And from here, you just want to double jump up here. You, want, you can skip that. Um, that's easy enough. Um, so yeah, from here, there's another tether. So you just grab some Uko. Just more health if you need it. And if you shoot straight, you should just grab it. Um, so yeah, from here, you can hop down. Uh, this is an interesting roll. Uh, it's really hard to do. Most people really don't even try it. Um, since you have yellow eco on you, you just kind of like jump down and grab the cell. That's fine too. But you can also roll from that platform. Um, then you kind of want to roll past these pikes. Um, if this pike is up, that means this one is always next. Um, it always goes to the left and then moves more to the right. Um, so you can time that. If both of these are up, just like this, you can roll past here, roll in between those. And if you have about like 250 orbs or so, then you might want to get some of these orbs. So um, I have 277, so I really don't need any. But what you would do is you would grab the yellow eco and just shoot these. Uh, maybe shoot some of those if you're really low. But you want about 275 or so. Um, that's a good amount. Uh, so from here, uh, you can just go on the platform, grab the blue eco, jump. Uh, from here, you can roll. It's faster to roll uh, if you have blue eco. I'll show you what that looks like. So you kind of want to uppercut, uppercut, jump, roll, roll back, uppercut, uppercut. <laughs> so it's just the same thing there and back, really. And you want to grab those orbs if you can with Blue Eco. Uh, it's okay if you miss some, you'll be back here, uh, probably. Um, okay, from here, you can get this Blue Eco. And you can go one of two ways. Um, both ways are pretty much the same speed, uh, but I recommend this way for one reason. Um, you want to grab the blue eco and go back, and what you can do here, uh, you can stand on the right of this rock, you don't need to break it in order to jump on it, um, and you can activate it that way. And that was an interesting thing that I just did, called the one frame. <laughs> um, and basically what that is, is you press circle at the right time, like right as Jack is about to jump off of the pad, you press circle and you do that spinny thing, um, which is what I just did. Um, so that's really not recommended, uh, but you can try it, just hopefully you can get it, doesn't matter. Um, saves like two seconds on that pad. So from here, I just like this camera angle because I can see pretty much every enemy. So this uh, 
This is pretty standard. So for this, um, okay. So now when you're done, get the you want to get the blue eco first before you get the cell. Um, so basically, grab the blue eco, get the cell. Uh, from here, you can try the one frame again. Uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> but if you do happen to get the one frame, you can kind of hop um, across the pikes and just. Oh god. Get off me. <laughs> um, you can hop across um, the spikes right there and just hop right into the area that we're about to go in right now. But if you don't, um, just mash it. <laughs> yeah, so just. You can try to mash circle if you want. Uh, but if you don't get the one frame, get the blue eco, uh, and jump on the pad, you should land over here anyway. Um, from here, get the yellow eco, stand right on, like, on the right, sort of, on this. Gives you a good standpoint. And you can shoot the tether. Just grab this up. Now, if you have one health, you can die by the rats just by walking off and they'll kill you. Uh, and it's a little bit faster. But if you have three health or two health like me, you just want to load your game again. That's the second fastest way. So from here, you just want to roll up here, grab the blue eco. You see that scout fly up there? You high jump to it. And you'll get the scout fly up there. From there, you want to go straight to the blue or the yellow eco, sorry, and grab those orbs. Having 300 is really good there. And then there's this trick now. Um, this is just a roll jump, high jump with a with a square input. Really. Um, so let me show you kind of what this looks like. I walk over, I shoot the orbs. Um, then I roll, high jump press square. Um, that's kind of a hard trick. Uh, a lot of people, the easier way to do it is to land more on that side. Uh, I land on that side which is a little bit trickier. Um, so This is the easier way to do it. Roll toward that way, high jump, square, and grab that one, and grab the cell. So uh, from there, you just want to roll onto this platform, and you kind of want to be on the right to it because you're going to roll over here. So you grab those orbs if you want, uh, land over here, and you need yellow eco for this part. <laughs> uh, if you don't have the yellow eco for this part, uh, I would recommend just going back um, because you're going to need it. Uh, yeah, if you don't have the yellow eco, just go right here, high jump, square, and you'll get up here, which is the same spot you're going to go to anyway. Um, but if you do have the eco, which I'm going to show you, roll over here, roll over here, and you can high jump, square, and grab the scout fly, which is the same area. Um, for backup strat. So after you grab that scout fly, roll here, roll here, and you should land right next to it. If you grab this yellow eagle, it's not a big deal. It's fine. Um, so just roll, high jump. Now I have one health. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, need this yellow eagle, that's health. Uh, you're going to need that because you're going to take damage later on. So. Um, one thing you can do here, take two eco, uh, you want to get across here without taking damage, grab those orbs, uh, you can stand like to the bottom right of those boxes and they'll break all four, um, and then you grab this, you can probably shoot this if you have enough eco, um, shoot that, um, the scout fly, and then the cell should pop out right there, you're good. 
So if you have, if you happen to have one health coming here, you're going to have to go around, uh, which is very slow. Um, but since I have two health, I can show off this. Um, when you get the cell, you can walk over here. Um, and you're going to kind of roll toward that patch of grass over there. You're going to hit the goo, because you can't get far enough. And you'll be over here already, instead of taking the long way and losing a bunch of time. Um, so yeah, you want to grab this eco, roll onto that platform, double jump, make sure you're over the platform, double jump over the platform, and then press square, and it'll automatically go hit the zeppelin, uh, or the, the tether. <laughs> so yeah, that cutscene should play out as you double jump. That's called a quad jump. Uh, when you have yellow eco, you can double jump. Yeah. Uh, double jump. Oh, hold on, let me show you guys for this first. So I have all this yellow eco over here. Okay, so quad jump. Yeah. Uh, you do double jump, square circle. It gives you kind of four boosts in the air. So that's good. Um, you're going to need that in the spider case. Which we will get to. So after you, you can get these orbs if you're low. If you're over 300, you'll be fine. So you just kind of want to make your way back. And that is Boggy.